Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuhu. I am Johanna May White Koken from BLCE 2B and my report is all about the sampling distributions and the central limit theorem. Before we proceed to the main topic, let me discuss first what is sampling distribution. Sampling distribution is the probability distribution of a sample statistic when samples of size n are taken randomly from the population repeatedly. Typically, a simple random sample is used. The sampling distribution of the sample mean has mean and standard deviation de denoted by this symbol, respectively. If this symbol represents the mean and standard deviation for the population, we can calculate the mean and standard deviation by this formula. The standard deviation of the sampling distribution for the mean is often called the standard error of the mean. We have an example here. A measurement from a population has population mean of 6 and standard deviation of 2. What are the mean and standard error of the sample mean when n is equal to 4, when n is equal to 100, and when n is equal to 400? We have the solution here. For all sample sizes, the mean is equal to 6. And for the standard error, we can use the formula of the standard deviation. For n is equal to 40, the standard error is equal to 1. And for n is equal to 100, the standard error is equal to 0.2. And for n is equal to 40, the standard error is equal to 0.1. So let's proceed to central limit theorem. The central limit theorem or CLT describes the shape of the sampling distribution of the sample mean. If the population is normally distributed, then the sampling distribution of sample mean is normally distributed for any sample size n. The central limit theorem or CLT says that regardless of the population distribution in most cases, if n is greater than or equal to 30, then the sampling distribution of a sample mean is approximately normal with mean, variance, and standard error given by this formula. The larger n is, the better the approximation will be. Also, the closer to normal the population is, the better the approximation will be. If the original distribution is drastically screwed, for example, people winning when they play the lottery. You may need a sample size that is larger than 30 to get a good approximation. So now, I have an example here for the example number 1. The question is, for the population of farm workers in New Zealand, suppose that weekly income has a distribution that is good right with a mean of $500 and a standard deviation of $160. A survey of 100 farm workers is taken, including information and their week on their weekly income. Letter A, what are the mean and standard error of the sampling distribution of the sample mean? Letter B, what is the probability that the mean weekly income of these 100 workers is less than $448? And letter C, what is the probability that the mean weekly income of these 100 workers is between $480 and $520? So we have the solution for the letter E. The mean is equal to 500 and the standard error, we can use the standard deviation which will become 160 divided by square root of 100 equals to 16. And for the letter B, using the CLT, we will find the Z score for 448, then use the table to find the probability. So, as you can see in the formula, and the total is 0 0.0006. And for the letter C, we can also use the CLT and find the Z score. For the 100 workers, that is between $480 and $520, we have here the answer which is 0 0.8944 minus 0 0.1056 equals to 0 0.7888. And that's all for my report which is the sampling distribution and the central limit theorem. Thank you for watching.